In modern cinema, the depiction of cancer can be interpreted and presented in an incredibly varying degree of accuracy. Uh, and for that reason, I, uh, Justin and I decided to go with a movie that's a little bit different than a lot of the movies that were being listed um, as options. Uh, and the movie that we chose was the 2001 movie, The Royal Tenenbaums, which is directed by Wes Anderson. Uh, and um, the movie's plot centered around a family consistent of the father, Royal Tenenbaum, the wife, uh, Ethleen Tenenbaum, and their three full-grown children, Chaz, Richie, and Margot. Royal, played by Gene Hackman, has been disowned and alienated from his family, having been basically an absolute wretched father and husband for years, having cheated on his wife. And because of that, he hasn't been spoken to his family for years. I think it said three years in the movie. Um, and Royal's being thrown out of his uh, room in a hotel, and his wife, Ethleen, played by Jan Angelica Houston, is actually um, engaged to another man. They're not legally separated, but they've been separated for, I think it was like 25 years, so... They're done. Uh, Royal, in act of desperation, confronts Ethleen and tells her that he's dying of cancer and he only has weeks left to live. And for much of the rest of the movie, the family members are all coming to grips with the impending death of their father and husband. Uh, they all slowly begin to mend old wounds and forgive their father for his untraditional methods of raising them and becoming a distant father and, um, and husband. And uh, Ethelene's fiancé, Henry, played by Dan Glover, doesn't believe that Royal's actually sick and investigates the doctor and his treatment methods. Um, and uh, Henry finds out that Royal has been, in fact, lying about being sick, and Royal's longtime friend and butler to the family, Pagoda, has been in on it. Um, and when Henry confronts Royal in front of the family, Henry explains that his wife died from cancer, and that's how he kind of had an idea. Um, with what he had witnessed, his wife dying in agony, unable to eat, sleep, or barely move sometimes, he knew immediately that Royal was, was lying. The family is completely enraged and devastated by this, and it takes them the rest of the movie to even come to terms and uh, uh, kind of even consider forgiving him on any level. Um, and it kind of took them to realize that he's so lonely and he wants their love so badly that he'd do anything for it. The Tenenbaums all slowly forgive each other for all their shortcomings, deceit, and pain that they have caused each other. With that said, here's Justin to describe the two types of cancer that are presented in this movie. In this movie, cancer is depicted in two very different ways. Uh, on one hand, you have someone who is a caregiver of a loved one who went through the entire process um, and passes away from their cancer. And on the other hand, you have someone who's faking cancer for their own personal gain. Um, the way Henry describes his wife's experience with cancer and the agony that she went through, you really can't help but feel the feel that pain that he went through um, and realize just how terrible it, had, it must have been for his wife. Um, the way that he described his wife's inability to eat um, because the pain was so excruciating was real and human. And then on the flip side, you have Royal, who doesn't adjust his diet at all because he's faking cancer. He's eating hamburgers and french fries regularly. And, you know, the, the perception that that creates uh, around cancer is quite aggravating and wrong. Uh, he's only attempting to act like what he believes a person with cancer should act like. Uh, and this could really mislead individuals about cancer. My favorite thing about this movie is that Henry is a flesh dog character that gives depth to a sometimes vaguely described storyline in just a few lines. And I really appreciate that and I think more movies should do it like that.